it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts and I'm bringing you one of my very last celebration projects just in case I haven't tempted you enough. So this is a tissue cover box. This is just a box of Kleenex tissues that I always have in my in my craft room and this is a beautifully embossed box to cover it using the amazing uh, foils that you can get as a free item during celebration. It also uses the free textured impressions embossing folder which is free during celebration. It will be in the new annual catalogue but in the new annual catalogue you'll have to use money for it. So if you want it and you need to stock up on your crafting supplies get it as a free item now and then you won't need to buy it come the new annual catalogue in June. So I've done some prep because otherwise this is quite a long project. Um, I've just remembered what I haven't prepped but it's fine. So what I have already done is uh, I have cut and scored and embossed my uh, three of my pieces. Uh, I have a fourth piece and I will go through all the dimensions in a moment. Uh, and I thought I would show, just show you how I've done the embossing. So, obviously we only need um, the bit that is going to show embossed. So I've scored, and I will come back to how I have scored in a moment, and I'm just popping this in the embossing folder so that it's as even as I can get it, but with the score line at the top where the edge of the embossing folder is. And then this just runs through in the usual way, it's a, text, it's a dynamic, so it's the base plate and one cutting plate, and that's all you need as your sandwich. And then you just run it through, and you have your beautiful embossing. Now, as far as cutting and scoring is concerned, let me go through the pieces that you need. You need two pieces that are this size. So two pieces that are five and a quarter by five. And this is if you've got a Kleenex tissue box like the one I've got. So five and a quarter by five. Uh, then you've got two pieces that are five and a quarter by four and a half. And then you've got one piece which is, and I've already prepared this because otherwise it is, it takes a while to dry, uh, four inches by four and a half. And then you need a piece of the Grapefruit Grove holographic, which I have then cut a frame using two of the rectangle, sorry, the oval dies. Obviously they're oval. Uh, and then I've just cut a hole in the middle using the straight oval die. Uh, this is the largest of the scallops and the third largest of the straight cut. Uh, and obviously you then end up with your pieces left over that you can do something with. Now when you cut your foil, and I would say this for all foil not just this, cut it from the back, so cut it with the white side up, and also when you are embossing I would strongly recommend, not embossing, scoring, I would strongly recommend that you score on the back as well because otherwise you could cut the foil uh, which means you'd end up with a, a strange white line, but you, it's still very easy to fold, so so let's fold. Now, I am not going mad with my bone folder. I mean, you want to do a bit of burnishing, but don't go too mad, because again, you could end up upsetting the foil. But gently fold on all of your score lines. It's a little tricky to see the score lines when you've embossed, but it's not impossible. Uh, and obviously you've got the pit bit at the top that you haven't embossed, so and it will kind of naturally go where the fold line where the score line is. Then on the ones that have got the three sides, just take your snips and cut across that corner. So you're cutting away that square but just straight across at an angle and then you get a nice neat finish on the inside when you pop it all together. So again, just go across at an angle like that. And then at the bottom here, get rid of those bits, just 
wedge in a little bit just so that it's it gives you a neater finish at the bottom as well when you put it all together. So I hope you have enjoyed celebration. I think it's been amazing. Um, I've had lots of people join my team, which is fantastic. I've even had my first European, uh, which is brilliant. So I'm now looking to grow my European team. So if you're in France, Austria, Germany or the Netherlands, uh, it would be fantastic if you joined my team. Um, you don't have to only be in the UK to join my team. Uh, I only sell in the UK, but I am very happy to have team anywhere in Europe. Uh, I will be happy to have team elsewhere as well, but I'm only allowed to have team in Europe, so I will make the most of Europe. Um, the celebration opportunities for saving money are join, where you get, and I'm, apologies to my European friends, I've forgotten the uh, euro values, but in UK sterling terms, um, you get, instead of £130 of product, you get £170 of product for your £99. Oh, I've just remembered, you need to wedge these as well. Um, so yes, instead of 130 you get up to £170 of product, and you also get the opportunity to get the um, craft and carry tote, which we were allowed to buy as demonstrators at the back end of last year and it cost £47 but it will cost you just £26 so amazing value uh, you will also get in your starter kit some things to help you get started if you're looking to run this as a business even if all you're looking to do is to um, just help cover your own crafting budget if you are able to get other people interested in buying for, from you, you can earn some money that means your craft supplies are cheaper. A, you get a discount anyway, but then you get commission on anything you sell to anybody else. What's not to love? Right, OK, let me grab a piercing tool. Actually, let's grab a, a that piercing tool. And I'm just going to strip off the top pieces first and then I'll do the sides later and just make sure that if you've got any tear and tape sticking out this is the moment to pop it in don't layer up your pieces so that you end up sticking everything together that would be a mistake ask me how I know right and then grab your lid and all you're doing is just lining up along that score line and then another piece just along that score line and you should find that you end up with a nice neat uh, corner this one uh, by which I mean that you've got just a very, very sharp angle there, but no overlapping. There we go. And then from the back, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to bash you there. From the back, just burnish that down and then remove your last bits of tear and tape. And then we can build the box. Now, what I would say is that I adhered this with liquid adhesive, which is why I did it earlier. The reason I used the, uh, the multi-purpose liquid adhesive is because that gives you the wiggle room to get it straight, uh, which is always a good idea. Um, the dimensions are such that you wouldn't be able to get it, this out of a, a full sheet of, um, of 12 by 12, so hence I've done it in panels. And it also means it's much easier when you come to putting it through the embossing folder. So we're just lining up. And I would my temptation would be that, as you know, that these are the same size. Line up from the bottom, because with the embossing, everything's just a little uneven. But if you line up at the bottom, 
then you know that everything will fall into place nicely. There we go. And then you can come in from the inside with your bone folder and then just reinforce that adhesive. Don't go mad, otherwise you'll push out the embossing. And there is your lovely box. So if I take the one off that I've made and pop that one on, it's nice and neat um, and snug and just a nice way to have your tissues on display. So there you go. Now you could obviously use the, any foil, any card, but I like the fact that this is the satin rather than the holographic, so it's not too blingy. Um, it's just a nice soft finish. And I think with the textured impression embossing folder, it just gives you that lovely finish. Um, there are one or two little cracks in the foil, but nothing much. And when it's on your when it's on your work surface, they don't really show. So there you go. Obviously, you could use any other embossing folder. Um, so don't feel you have to use this one. But I just thought I would show you it because it's free and we like free. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Uh, come back on tomorrow which is the 1st of April and I have something exciting to share with you which is not an April Fool. Um, it's just really exciting. I think social media has gone a bit wild over it which I can understand but I didn't want to I didn't want to share the, the information too early on because it's something you can't get until tomorrow so you know. Um, if you're on my newsletter subscription uh, which is free obviously uh, but if you're on my newsletter cir circulation you will get an email about it very early in the morning on the 1st of April but it's not an April Fool's it's a real thing thank you very much indeed for watching if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more please hit the subscribe button which is in the bottom right hand corner you won't get emails cluttering up your inbox it just when you go to YouTube will tell you that I've posted another video that's all that will happen. Um, so don't worry about that. Uh, if you want to join my team, then you can do that either below or over on my website. When you shop with me, please use the host code, which will finish this afternoon at about half past five. Um, I'll close that off and put a new host code up, which will be on my website, but won't be below because I'm I don't backtrack through um, but do please use the host code and then you get to share in the host rewards which are wonderful I've managed to send out all sorts of goodies um, particularly this month this last three months because we get extra rewards during celebration thank you very much indeed for watching I look forward to seeing you again very soon